Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. Two people are now convicted in the shooting death of former coal company executive Ben Hatfield. Hatfield was allegedly shot in the back while cleaning his wife's and in-law's graves at Mountain View Memory Gardens in Mayer Memorial Day weekend last year. The murder trial of 20-year-old Brandon Lee Fitzpatrick of Louisa finally came to a close last night in Mingo County Circuit Court. To eliminate the possibility of appeals, the parties reached an agreement that resolved all issues in the case. Pursuant to the terms of that agreement, Brandon Fitzpatrick has been found guilty of the first degree felony murder. The prosecutor's office is just very grateful to to the jury for their time and attention and their service in this case. Without their verdict, this case could not and would not have been resolved. Fitzpatrick will be eligible for parole after serving 15 years of his sentence. The agreement gave the family of Ben Hatfield justice and some closure. However, Mingo County prosecuting attorney Jonathan Duke Jewell says he doesn't think the family will ever have peace. One of the worst things about this case is how senseless and how shocking it was and where it occurred on a Sunday afternoon at a cemetery. The reason Ben Hatfield was there that day was to clean off his wife's grave, his wife who he had lost to cancer in 2009, and also her parents. Now his children and his family, if they want to go visit Ben or Debbie or Debbie's parents, they have to go back to the scene of the crime where Ben was, was murdered, and that's, to me, unacceptable. Fitzpatrick's partner in crime, 22-year-old Anthony Rahim Ariaga, was found guilty in October to first-degree murder, first-degree robbery, and two counts of conspiracy in the case. He will also be eligible for parole in 15 years. Anthony Ariaga will formally be sentenced on December 19th. Brandon Fitzpatrick's sentencing will be January 18th. In Williamson, Shelby Porter, EKB News.